Prolonged pain for an already grieving family. Minutes before 79 year old Nancy White was set to be buried beside her late husband, another car hits the hearse carrying her remains and flips it upside down. You see it all right there. It's insult to injury on an already somber day for the White family. John Genovese spoke with Nancy White's son a short time ago. He's live in Colerain Township with a story you'll see only on Nine on Your Side. John? Carol, this sounds almost like the unthinkable, and tonight many of those family members are still at a loss for words. We're told just moments after a police officer attempted to stop traffic at this intersection that hearse was struck, and tonight the horror still fresh on the minds of that entire family. Just to have her disgraced like that today, she did not deserve that. A grim scene now repeatedly played out in his mind during a time that was supposed to be his mother's memorial. The car's flipped over, the casket's laying there, and it's damaged, and I can see everything, and just... <sighs> My sister, she can't even talk right now. She's devastated from this. Already the worst day of our life. A day Kenneth White tells us he'll now be forced to relive once more. 40 cars carrying around 75 friends and family were taking part in a funeral procession to lay 79 year old Nancy White to rest. We could hear there was a group of guys standing out on the corner yelling, slow down, slow down. Boom. Despite a police escort, the hearse carrying her remains struck by another car and flipped upside down. Both drivers walked away with minor injuries. The priest in the passenger seat rushed to the hospital, but expected to be okay. There were people, complete strangers, just started walking up to console us. Employees of a nearby funeral home quickly rushed to the scene to help. Able to get all the people involved, you know, get them all in line. They were able to get the, uh, the casket out, put it in to that other uh, hearse, and have continued on. Continued, but for this family, without closure. Angry. I'm upset. I'm heartbroken. And now I've got a heartache on top of heartbreak. Pain from a family with a passionate plea for future drivers. Slow down. Show some respect for somebody that has lost something. She was the most important person in my life. She was my world. And police tell us they're still looking into whether charges will be filed against that driver who struck the hearse. And Kenneth says that second viewing will take place on Friday before another procession. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.